Hello dear children. Welcome back to chemistry class. In addition to what we have learned in our last class. Now let us move on to see what are the constituents of air. So we have already learned that air is a mixture of gases. Which means it is a combination of many gases. We have also learned that one fifth of the air contains oxygen gas while remaining four fifth of the air contains nitrogen gas. Which means around 78 to 79 percentage of the air comprises of nitrogen gas while remaining 21 percentage comprises of oxygen gas. In addition to nitrogen and oxygen there are other gases also that are present in air. So gases like carbon dioxide and rare gases they are present in very small quantities. So carbon dioxide it is approximately 0.02 to 0.03 percentage of carbon dioxide that is present in air. While noble gases like helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon these are the noble gases that constitute a very small amount and its presence in air is nearly less than 1 percentage. The main noble gas that is present in air is argon. In addition to nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and noble gases, water vapor, dust particles, pollutants, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, Various oxides of nitrogen and hydrogen sulfide are present in air. So the amount of these substances in the air will vary or it differs from one place to another. First, let us learn about the most abundant component that is present in the air, which is nitrogen gas. In the year 1772, a scientist named Daniel Rutherford, he is the scientist who discovered nitrogen gas. Later, as we have already learned in the year 1775, Antoine Lavoisier is the scientist who named nitrogen gas. We have also learned that about four-fifths of the air contains nitrogen gas, which means around 78 to 79 percentage of the atmosphere consists of nitrogen gas. Now, let us learn about few important properties of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is colorless, odorless and it is tasteless in nature. When it comes to density, nitrogen gas is as heavy as that of air. But in case of solubility, nitrogen gas is only slightly soluble in water. So it has density that is almost the same as that of air which means it is as heavy as that of air but it is only slightly soluble in water. Nitrogen is a gas which does not burn by itself or it does not support the process of burning. So we say that nitrogen is non-combustible gas and it is a non-supporter of combustion. In addition to that, nitrogen gas is neutral in nature, which means nitrogen is neither acidic nor it is basic in nature. And in terms of reactivity, nitrogen is chemically inert gas, which means it is unreactive or unlike oxygen, which is very reactive, nitrogen gas is chemically inert, which means it is chemically unreactive, especially at low temperature. So these are some of the important properties of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen being the most abundant component of the air, we will now learn what are the important uses of nitrogen in the air? So now we are going to learn about three important uses of nitrogen in the air. Nitrogen gas controls combustion. Nitrogen is very much essential for the growth of plants. Nitrogen gas is also useful in flushing food packages. So we will see each of them one by one. First, let us see. How does nitrogen gas controls combustion? We have already learned that nitrogen is non-combustible which means it is also a non-supporter of combustion. 
Now, when we say that nitrogen gas is non-combustible and it is a non-supporter of combustion, it is actually diluting the activity of oxygen in air. Now, we know that oxygen gas is highly combustible and it is a supporter of combustion. So, when there is more amount of nitrogen present in the air, it is actually diluting the activity of oxygen in the air because it is a non-supporter of combustion. Now, as you can see here in the picture, when there is nitrogen present in the air, that is in the presence of nitrogen, we can see there is controllable combustion here. You can see how this matchstick burns when there is controllable combustion. But there, if there is only presence of oxygen in the air, you can see that there is uncontrollable combustion that takes place. So remember that nitrogen gas controls the process of combustion. Now let us learn about the next important utility of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas is used for flushing food packets. When we have learned about properties of nitrogen gas, we have understood that nitrogen gas is an unreactive gas, which means it is chemically inert. So since it is an unreactive gas, it does not react with the food items also. So when food packets are filled with nitrogen gas, it will help in preventing or reducing the growth of bacteria that is present in food packet. So food packets, when it is flushed with nitrogen gas, it actually drives out oxygen gas from the food packet, thus reducing or preventing the growth of bacteria that is present in the food packet. Therefore, nitrogen gas is used for flushing food packages.